Before my traumatic brain injury, I was living in Texarkana, Texas. And I was a crane operator. We carried, I carried big old ingots of aluminum. In June of 08, I came up to Rockford to visit my mom for a few days. And uh, I, when I left, I remember a little bit of about getting ready to leave, but the, the whole trip I don't remember. Some friends of mine found me the next day, passed out in, in bed and rushed me to the hospital. Uh, and they, I spent a week in Texarkana Hospital uh, and they still didn't know exactly what was going on, but they ended up flying me to Dallas. The doctors had diagnosed me with meningitis and, that, and at that time they had to scrape part of my brain and they were able to do some extensive brain surgeries and they had to, I've got three shunts up there now. I had seven surgeries. I had to relearn everything. In 2010, I went back to college, went to ASU, and got a Bachelor of Arts Social Work degree. And that's one of my biggest accomplishments especially after my brain injury. I would like to actually find a job with, with, with people with disabilities, people with substance abuse, or people with mental illness. And sometimes those issues all tie in together. And I've, I feel that, you know, I, as, as, as a person with those issues, I believe I could help other people. I first met Bill at the TBI uh, Headliner Support Group at Van Mater probably about a year ago and I uh, did a presentation there about our employment services and Bill came up to me afterwards to talk a little bit and fill me in on his story and uh, his goals and what he was looking to do. Um, talked Bill into coming to talk to us in person at the ramp office a little bit later, talked about our specific services and how they could incorporate to help him with his goals. Ramp has been a tremendous amount of helping me with my confidence. Cares already kind of gets on to me for my confidence because <laughs> I don't always have it. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. So she always lets me know. I've been working with Bill since about probably January, February, um, and we've been meeting pretty consistently, um, weekly, bi-weekly, and really just kind of getting him prepared for a totally different career. So we've updated his resume, we've developed a cover letter, we've really worked hard on interview skills because you know, he's kind of interviewing for different positions now, and so the way he answers questions would be a little bit differently. Bill's just really opened up um, his idea of what he, he can do. Um, very limited ideas to begin with, and now he's just opened to lots of different things. He applies for many different jobs, again, with always that idea of giving back and helping somebody in the community. Now, Jeremy helped me. We got a grant with ComEd. He ended up taking me into Chicago and we trained and what I'll be doing is presentations on how to conserve energy. There's several reasons that we chose Bill for the, the ComEd grant when we were first approached to uh, apply for the grant. Um, didn't have specifically, specifically anyone in mind. However, once we started to talk just a little bit, it became obvious Bill was the right man for the job. Um, first off, he has a passion for energy conservation. Um, second off, Bill has a gift for gab. He likes to talk, he likes to be in front of crowds, um, he likes to interact with people. Today, I am most proud of graduating college and about getting my life into an area where it's helping other people. I'll never be 100% of what I was, but then again, I don't want to be. I like me now as I am. RAMP 
started an employment services program a couple of years back. Um, it's something we had thought about for a while, but there were other agencies providing that service in the community already, but we just had an overwhelming demand for it. We just had more and more consumers continuing to come in and asking for those services. And the other part of that is we obviously believe in the independent living philosophy, and we really want people to be as independent as possible, and a, a key component of that is financial independence, and having a job leads to so much more financial independence than depending on government subsidies, handouts, those types of things. So if people are able to work, we firmly believe that we're going to do everything we can to help them go to work to further their self-sufficiency. Many good reason employers uh, should hire people with disabilities. One is that uh, the disability community will support employers that have people with disabilities working in their workforce. If somebody goes and they see that in that business, they will continue to frequent that business and that's a large untapped market of um, consumers. Um, other reasons have to do with diversifying the workforce, which is a, a productivity issue for many businesses and it, it's a good feeling for other employees and coworkers. Um, and really, it's the right thing to do to hire not just people with disabilities, but hire the right person for the job regardless if there's a disability or not. That's what we're asking for is for our consumers to have a fair shake, that they are very valuable, very marketable, and have special skills and, and deserve a chance just like anybody else. That's all we're really asking for.